all right so today we will be learning something called the carpet strategy it is from geometry for maths olympiad but it is also used in other parts of contest mathematics like isi entrance cmi entrance the idea is this the idea is this that look at the overlap so what do i mean by that our main goal this type of problem says that prove that this area is equal to that area so they, they give you two types of regions and they want to ask you that how can you tell that both of these areas are equal so i'll give you an example that's the best way to learn this you get to a b c d a square let's start with that and let's draw a triangle a x d a triangle a x d a white triangle and then maybe i can color code this put a put a point y so d y c a green triangle okay so the first thing is that these two triangles the white triangle and the green triangle both of them are of equal area right so that's the fact one and you can tell me in the comment in the description why this fact one is true what is the rigorous reason that this fact one is true and what is the fact one that triangle axd is equal in area so sometimes we put square brackets around the triangle to implicate area is equal to the area of cyd this triangle why can you tell me in the comment in the description and if the area of the square is 1 maybe 1 square centimeter what is the area of axd and cyd compared to that can you compare the area of these triangles with the area of the square okay So I will not prove it here because it's a sort of a preliminary path uh, thing in geometry. So I want you to think about it. Okay. All right. So now we will be shading two regions of these uh, of, in this square. So one region is this. So one region is blue. So let's say a region is blue. And this one is a, also a blue region. So I will just color them both as blue. And I'll color two red regions. So maybe I can use a thicker brush. Okay, here we go. A red region. And here is a red, red region. Okay. So the question says that the red region is equal to the blue region so this is our goal oops still using the thicker brush this is our goal so the show that red is equal to blue okay and surprisingly enough this problem does not require you to work with the area formula so you really don't have to physically find out the area of the red region and the blue region so I, just to give enough credits uh, i saw this sort of problems first in a book by t2 andrescu but then i saw that they use the same strategy in some older russian books so this is probably known for centuries this and this is very intuitive so that's not surprising at all all right, so how do you show that the red is equal to the blue? Do you compute separately the area of the red parts and then the area of the blue parts? Oh, well, you don't do that. So what do you do? Well, you notice that the triangle, okay, maybe I can just do it here. Triangle AXD and triangle 
CYD, they are overlapping in this in this yellow zone. So this yellow portion is the overlap. Notice that the blue the, the, the triangle CYD and the triangle AXD they overlap in the blue yellow zone. So if we subtract yellow from both of them whatever re remains still remains equal right because axd's area and cyd's area were initially equal that was the fact one now from both of these equal quantities i am subtracting the yellow region that is the yellow area area of the yellow region so it still remains equal. Now notice that AXD minus the yellow, this is just red. And CYD minus the yellow, that's blue. That's it. So that's why the red and the blue regions are equal. So this is the carpet strategy. It's a very simple, intuitive and beautiful strategy in geometry. You can also create pictures. So why don't you create pictures of overlapping equal area figures and send it by email to helpdesk at chinta.com. Email me what pictures you can create. Maybe you have some fancy picture. You have a square. Maybe you can create two overlapping triangles. I don't know. And the remaining portions are looking really weird so in manually it will be very hard to prove those two areas are equal but using this carpet strategy it will be very simple so uh, we do this in level two and three of uh, Chinta Maths Olympiad program and if you are in our program you have already seen it before if you are not in our program then you can see it here or in T2 Andrew Skew's book or in those Russian books so keep on doing great mathematics. Send me a picture. Send me a picture of your created uh, overlapping figures and I, we will post it, showcase it on, in our website and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.